If you're asking yourself, what is Simone doing? This is what Simone is doing, trying to deal with anxiety. Welcome to my channel. My name is Simone. If this is your first time here, I'm happy to have you. Now in this situation, I was having an anxiety attack and I just thought, let me deal with this by journaling. So this is my new journal. God is bigger than your anxiety. And I use this to journal my frustrations and my fears. As you can see, I got it from Ross and it cost $2.99. Um, in the front of this journal, on this orange sticky note, I wrote Psalm 139, verse 17 and 18, the New Living Translation. How precious are your thoughts about me, O oh God. And this chart was a chart that I got directed to during my anxiety attack. It's Philippians 4, verse 6. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your thoughts be made known to God. And I'd gotten that from a sermon that I'd watched on YouTube. And that is like the second page to the notes that I had taken. Now, my journal right here, I got excited when I saw this journal because somebody recommended that we should be keeping an anxiety journal. So I thought I usually write my fears and everything in one journal or I combined it with poetry and whatever. But I thought to myself, this is a great idea. I'd wish I'd got more. This pen here, an orange pen, I designate this as a mental health pen. And then of course my trusted blue ink, my favorite ink to write. So here I am journaling my fears and here goes. I was ready to record a vlog but I became so overwhelmed to the point of tears and decided to journal my anxieties. I became frustrated. God, but I'm glad that you came through for me, reminding me with my chart that I had written on the wall to be anxious for nothing, but to bring everything to you with prayer and supplication, to let my requests be made known unto you and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard my heart and my mind in Christ Jesus. I was so grateful for the reminder because in the moment I was just not with it and I was ready to hibernate under my comforter, not the Holy Spirit. I'm thankful to you, O oh God, for soothing my doubts and calming my fears knowing that you're close to the anxious and brokenhearted. I feel so much better knowing that you got me. I think that me being overwhelmed stemmed from being in a noisy restaurant in the <coughs> environment, noisy environment in the restaurant and not being able to focus in conversation. They had music playing, TVs playing on different channels, the chatter of the patrons and the staff walking back and forth. It became highly distressful and overwhelming. I didn't even think of leaving in the moment and I could have. As soon as I left that establishment, I was able to hold my conversations and to focus. I was doing fine even when I got home, but just as I was ready to start filming, I became frustrated and overwhelmed. I just couldn't seem to get it together. Anyway, I thank you for always being here for me, for being in my corner, O oh great Jehovah. You are good and never failing. I'm happy to know 
that you are my father who is greater and mightier than everyone else. Your son Jesus specializes in binding wounds, understanding my plight, and advocating on my behalf, and I am grateful for him. He understands my anxiety-inducing situations since he came in human form to experience such. Can you ask him to say a prayer for me like he did for Peter to, and to endure hardships like a good soldier? I need an angel to strengthen me too, like he did to Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. I understand that I need to be more fervent, more faithful in my prayers, dear God, so that I will live a life pleasing to you and governed by you only. Quell my frenzied thoughts and stabilize my mind. I am counting on you to help me because you are my master builder. Thank you again in Jesus name. So here I am, I'm still writing. I was done with my journal entry and I'm still writing, but I just want to talk about the charts that I have and the notes that I took from the sermon on YouTube to help me out when I'm feeling anxious. So the YouTube channel is called 954 Church and the sermon is from is called Freedom from Financial Stress and Anxiety. And it was Pastor Brian Brookins that was speaking. Um, and the timestamp was 2145. And he was talking about basically do not be anxious about anything but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known to god that is philippians 4 verse 6 and this is the esv bible and he practically like broke it down about praying specifically praying with urgency writing down your request praying your request every day Till you get your answer and the four areas to pray about like finances healing deepest and strongest desires and patterns of thoughts and emotions and that includes your moods so the the one that I was holding up in the video um, this was from the NLT version the Bible Still Philippians 4 verse 6. Don't worry about anything. That's faith. Pray about everything. Prior. Tell God what you need. Supplication. And thank him for all he's done. And that's anxiety. So I have these on the wall. And in that moment when I was feeling really anxious. And I was ready to hibernate. I got directed to what was written and I'd like tacked it down to the wall. So I'm just glad that in that moment, because right after that, right after this video, I was able to film another video, which I'm going to be uploading soon. So I pray and hope that what I've said in this video is going to be helpful to you in some way or another because frankly speaking God is our creator he's our engineer he's familiar with all our inner workings so that is the best person for us to go to in situations like this so get a journal and start journaling your thoughts if you want one for thanksgiving you want one for prior one for breakthrough whatever the case may be but i'm wrapping up so until next time sincerely desperate writing simone bye bye